Hello YouTube, and uh, today we got something special planned. We are finally going to take this stupid rocket off, or at least attempt to. Um, now, off camera, I added some things to it. I added boosters, some more groups, I completely filled up the large hydrogen tank and added all the ice, which took literally forever. I had some help from some friends, which made it a little bit faster, so we have 21 roughly K ice in each of those. I got a little bit of uranium. I'm only bringing steel plates with me just to try and keep the uh, the weight down a little bit. And yeah, that's that's Xenos. This is this is why this is a single player world, other than the fact that the game crashes in multiplayer like nonstop. And uh, yeah, this is the hole we made to fill the ship up with ice. <laughs> oh, there we go. A little bit of a lag spike there. So I don't think I'm gonna beat around the bush. I think we're gonna go straight for it. Oh, damn it. Hang on, let me just refill my bottle real quick. Don't know how... I think I'm going to bring some ice with me. Yes, yes, yes. Bill. Boom, okay. So we got that. I think I'm going to grab a little tiny bit of uranium also, just to be on the safe side. Point two. There we go. Helmet's on. Do 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 do. All right. Okay, so we got this ugly, ugly ship with my control groups. Just gonna do a quick test. Okay, those are good. Those are good. Those are good. Okay. Thrusters at the booster one. Okay, which group is which though? Booster main. Okay, so I don't really know what's gonna happen with this. Because let's put inertia dampeners off. Go oh, P. Alright, so it looks like Oh god. Oh god. Terrible mistake. Okay. Let's just turn on these real quick with inertia dampeners. And turn that off. Inertia dampeners off. Alright. That was a bit of a rough takeoff. <laughs> We'll see how high up we can get with this, and holy crap, I did my math wrong. I assumed that four of them would not be enough, so I added more. Yeah, I had a lot more. Hmm. So now, I think I may have gone overboard just a little bit. <laughs> hmm. Alright, well, how high up are we? Our flight systems look pretty good. Got our waypoint markers. The planet's so pretty. Look at that thing go. Kind of surprised, actually. Things never go this good. So what the hell's going to go wrong, then? Hmm. Let's see now. Okay, so my speed's dropping. Let's go ahead and activate the boosters. Um, let's uh, put that down to 92 kilonewtons. Hydrogen tank. Inventory, how much ice are we going through? Okay, we're pretty good. Put it up a little bit more. I mean, we're 10 kilometers up, so... Don't want to turn them off just yet, because they still function. Just wondering how much of a... Uh, hydrogen tank... 
How much are we going through of our ice? Okay, so we're starting to deplete our ice reserves now. Okay, it's fairly slow, which isn't so bad. Um, how much thrust are those making? Even making any? Nah. I will turn that off. 14 kilometers up, we're doing pretty good. I think I can turn it down just a bit, though. Okay, it's still climbing at 100%. And let's bring it down even more. Okay. We got this. I think we're pretty good. There we go. So that's the official point where it starts to drop. Now, ship gravity is still changing. So I imagine as the ship gravity becomes less and less, it'll get a bit better. And I think this is the turning point. Yep, if we look in our bottom right-hand side right now, it we are speeding up again. I've only gone through, I think, maybe 15,000 ice. We have a full tank on top of that, so I mean really confident at this point. Now I have 40 kilometers left to go. Ooh, glad I, glad I kept the weight down on this thing. We'll be able to harvest all those motors from uh, these atmospheric ones afterwards. I did remember to put a um, there we go. Sorry, I'm being stupid. Oh, wrong way. Didn't mean that. <laughs> so I did manage to get an ore detector and some other stuff on here. But, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're going to skip ahead to when I'm a bit higher up, though, because I don't think you guys need to watch this part. So I will see you guys once we've officially broken 60 kilometers and started seeing some spawning asteroids. I'm just going to take a look where the moon is first. Not that that will go to it right away, but... Um, I don't see it. I'm friggin' blind or idiotic. It looks like Mars. Alien planet's way over there. Hmm. Alrighty, YouTube. Well, uh... For you, it'll be a quick slide. For me, it'll be an agonizing more... Time. Alrighty, YouTube, and uh, we have hit a stable altitude, and we've now just turned off the hydrogen thrusters completely. We're almost at 60 kilometers. There is no more gravity, and we're just waiting for some uh, asteroids to spawn. If I go into control panel, I mean, we only used about, uh, I think we have maybe 10 oxygen generators, and uh, I had around 21, 22k in each of them, so... I mean, in all fairness, we could literally travel back to the planet, land, and take off probably two or three times with what we have now, which is a good thing and a bad thing, because that means I could have brought all of my resources with me, including the stuff necessarily to make the refinery, but uh, it's okay. We'll, uh, we'll still manage. But one thing I'd definitely like to do is... Uh, um, Try not to build too much in space. I want to build some outposts and whatnot, but I want to ferry the resources back down to the planet and make uh, lots of atmospheric fighters and stuff and make a big base. Um, just because the planet seems to be the hardest place to do stuff. And I think I'll be a little bit safer when the server goes public if I'm on the planet. Um, I know people could still be able to troll, but if I if I have a, a system in place that can uh, ferry resources like this, like a lot of resources, I'm talking, let's say, a million at a time, then I could easily, easily, easily um, build some massive constructions without any issues whatsoever. Um, okay, I'm just waiting for us to find something. We're about 60 kilometers up. I think that nothing spawns until we hit 100, though, if I'm not mistaken. 
Or it's around 80 ish or something like that. Um, you're still pretty far from the planet. I still don't see the moon yet, though. Which worries me, which means it's on the other side of the freaking globe. Um. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Mars is over there. Okay. Well, I guess I will see you guys when I find my first asteroid. Be right back in literally one frame. And we finally have some asteroids starting to spawn. So there's one in the distance over there. Um, I think we're going to go a little bit deeper into the asteroids, though. Just because we're uh, about 100 kilometers out, and uh, I think I want to go a little tiny bit further, just because I know from past experiences that the first couple asteroids never have anything really that great. Um, we're bound to run into another one. We're not literally running into another one. That would be unfortunate. Yeah. It's maneuvering, man, I'm telling you. I'm not talking too much just because I don't want to crash the damn ship. Okay, let's see here. How much do we have left? We have tons left, so we can we can afford to be picky uh, with our first spawn. Okay, so we see iron right away. It's a given with this type of asteroid. Um. I'm just hoping we can get some platinum. Okay, so we see silver, iron, more iron. Yeah, it's silicon, that's important. Uranium, okay. Uranium, silicon, silver, iron, GPS. Uranium, silver, silicon, iron. If I'm not mistaken, I think there is more. There is magnesium. Uh, no nickel or anything. Hmm. Okay, so there is magnesium. So what we're gonna do is run at that. Magnesium. Magnesium. Okay. Just in case wherever we decide to make our base doesn't have uranium. Let's just get a bunch. Okay, now we'll get some iron. I mean, iron actually is pretty safe. We don't have to grab any iron. Now there's silver over here. There's this magnesium. I think this is silver. Huh. And I just realized that my freaking mic was muted. So if, uh, if I didn't cut all that footage out, basically I grabbed some silicon, some silver, and some uranium just because I didn't know uh, where we would approximately end up. So to be on the safe side, we have that, and then the freaking pirates show up out of nowhere. But uh, yeah, apologize about that. I muted myself by accident. So that's a thing. That's a thing you shouldn't do, especially not when you're trying to have some fun in a game and show everybody else how much fun you're having. But we'll check out this asteroid and hopefully, 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 we end up with some decent things. Because we are limited on how much ice we have. I need platinum. If I can find platinum, nickel, and cobalt. Oh, I found nickel. Right off the bat. Uranium. Okay, let's get in closer. Hmm. 
What else we got in this thing? Okay, so there's ice. That's useful. I could refill some ice. Ah, beautiful. It's at the surface. Okay. So, let's mark this uranium, ice, nickel, iron. Uranium. Ice. Nickel. Iron. Oh, helps if you spell it right. Iron. Okay, so the nickel is directly in there. We're just going to dig straight for it. We need that to complete our stuff. So our we really we only need cobalt, and then we can continue. But uh, we're gonna want to also find platinum for sure and gold. We do not have a source of gold yet. Come on. Let's see here. Almost there. It's amazing how much better it is when you have a mic that's working, and not on the mute button. <laughs> Do, 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 do. There we go. Bang. It's fired me back like crazy. Holy shit. Why is it doing that? Hmm. Let's see. We gotta get lots of that. Boom. Okay, now let's go put this in our storage. Oh, mentally challenged. Hold on. There we go. Put the nickel in there. A little bit of stone. That's always useful. And while we're here. Might as well get some more fuel, right? It's precious, damn it. Oh well. I need a miner for this crap. I just need those small freaking ion thrusters. That's all I need, and I can make something super simple. Mm -mm -mm. What are we going to do? Well, for one, we're going to. Keep that much. Okay, I got that. How much do we got? Fifty-seven percent. So we we can still go for a bit longer. Um. Okay. What else do we see? Okay. That's where we came from, that's where we were there. Let's uh, travel towards the sun, I guess. There we go, let it thrust all the way up. Bang. Hmm. Okay, here we go. We got another one. Let's fly towards this. Oh, don't want to minimize the game. That's a terrible idea. Do we see any other ones in our immediate vicinity? No, just this one? How do you fly down? That's... How the hell do you fly down? I 
it was left control. Hmm. No. Ah, oh, let's see. Alright, guys. Hoping this is the one. If not, we'll venture off and find another one, worst case, but, uh, come on, baby. Gold and cobalt is what we need. And platinum. Give me your secrets. What do you contain? Iron. Really? Okay, iron ice. Magnesium. Iron, ice, magnesium. That's pretty useless. Um, come on. Don't have the time for this. Nothing hidden away. No little gems. The Illuminati. Zachary. Hmm. Stop it. Um. Okay, so magnesium, iron, uranium, ice. Uh, new from current position. Magnesium, uranium, iron, ice. Damn it. Oh, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. I guess we're going to have to keep going out. But holy crap, we're low on uh, fuel. We have enough to go find one more asteroid, and that's it. And... stop. No, come on. Okay, 5.82. One more. The next one is where we're going to have to go, so hopefully it has freaking cobalt. Hey, Zach, can you hear me? Zach? Huh. You can speak was doing that weird thing where we could hear each other. Let's see here. See here, we finally found another one. Come on, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Coming in fast. That's a little concerning. I'm hoping you have a gold on you. We got iron, cobalt, there we go. Okay, that's good. Very good. With the cobalt, we can build more. There's ice, which is very good. Cobalt, cobalt, cobalt. Is there an easy way into this one, or is this another pain in the ass one? It looks like there's tons of cobalt. It would seem that there is a source of it near the outside here. Okay. Iron, cobalt, ice. Well, better than nothing. So... Iron, cobalt...
Cobalt slash ice. See, the problem with this is I needed the ion thruster so that way I can make, uh, disable the hydrogen ones altogether and still be able to cruise around in space. But if I can't find platinum, that will not be easy. There we go. Found the cobalt. We'll be able to make a refinery and be able to make more parts. Nothing less, nothing more. I mean, we have a huge reserve tank that's completely full, so I mean, I'm, we could always run on reserve, but that's just I prefer not to. Hmm. There we go. A load of cobalt. Now, I imagine cobalt's going to be harder to find. I think I already put nickel in here, if I'm not mistaken. We have nickel. We actually have lots of nickel. Um, now we're getting our cobalt. But, uh, yeah, I think we've been playing for quite a while now. This has been a long episode, a little bit boring, a little bit fun. So uh, I think we're going to put the cut in it here, and then next time I'll have to uh, um, figure out a way to get further. But uh, I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the series. Uh, the more views we get, the more money we can put into the server and the other great community content that we've been uh, starting to develop now. And stay tuned for some War Thunder. Uh, Bucko's got some pretty cool surprises with that. So we'll see you guys next time.